guys and welcome to weekend six in lockdown, isolation, whatever you want to call it. Um, time is flying, it really is. I feel like the weeks are just melting away and before I know it, the weekend is here again. This morning, I'm up quite early, it's not that early to be fair, it's um, half past seven, but I've been up for about an hour um, and I'm making some breakfast because today I am taking part in a cycling challenge with a Facebook group um, called UK Ladies Peloton. Um, basically one of the girls from there emailed me um, or DM'd me earlier this week and said, hey, do you want to take part? We're doing this big fundraising ride. You guys know, because I've been talking about it a lot on here and on my Instagram that uh, Mike and I have a Peloton bike and we're, I'm obsessed with it. I'm on it every single day. Um, and so I'm doing 26 miles, 26.2 miles, same as a marathon um, this morning to raise money for um, NHS charities together. They've already raised 17,000, so I'm pretty sure they'll reach their 20,000 limit. By the time this vlog goes up, it will be over, but I'll put the donation link anyway if you want to donate to it. There's, I think there's about 400 plus people riding, um, and there's like a full schedule, so I'm gonna be doing, I'm hoping like four classes um, back to back, uh, about two hours, and I'll be done with my 26 miles. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to be taking part and it's actually um, been really nice to be able to like get involved in that community because it was something that I noticed existed on like the like leaderboard when I was riding but I didn't realise it was actually just like a Facebook group. Anyway, a lot of you won't have Peloton so this will be irrelevant for you but um, that's what I'm doing this morning. So I'm making breakfast, I'm going to make an extra large smoothie bowl this morning. Um, I've been making these the mornings that I've been working out um, because they are filling and give you lots of energy but they're not heavy sometimes i find you don't want to eat too heavy too heavy at breakfast if you're working out i mean obviously i leave it some time anyway but um yeah if i eat like a load of toast or whatever i end up being like what um i don't know how mike does it he literally survives on toast anyway i'm gonna make my breakfast i will show you okay so this is pretty much everything that goes in it's actually quite a lot of ingredients to be fair um, frozen banana. I usually use like one big frozen banana. I think this is one in a bit. It's my, like basically the last out of my stash out of the freezer. Um, and then I pop in a teaspoon, like a large teaspoon of peanut butter. So yummy. And then a bit of oat milk. I'm using the Minor Figures oat milk at the moment actually, which is pretty good. It foams well, I put like, yeah, probably about that much. Um, and then I'm also gonna pop some cinnamon in today because um, why not? Like cinnamon, I've never actually done it with cinnamon before. And I'm also gonna put some oats in um, just to make it a little bit more substantial. There we go, it might put a bit more, a bit of extra oat milk in to help it. Oh man, it smells good. There we go. And then blend it all up. Pour it in my favourite bowl that River made me for Mother's Day. I'm gonna have to scrape it down, which I can't do with one hand. There's definitely a cheeky chunk of frozen banana in there that made it through. Um, then I put in a little bit of extra peanut butter. Rest off the spoon. Um, some blueberries, put those on this corner. Some strawberries, trying to do this with the wrong hand, which is quite confusing. Um, what else are we gonna put on? Some flaxseed, a little bit of flaxseed. This is actually really precarious because this is a huge jar and I've got one hand and the wrong hand. <laughs> normally looks a lot neater than this um, and some cashew nuts and that is my breakfast delicious basically like ice cream I'm gonna take this upstairs and eat it with Mike and Riv who are in bed watching cartoons also made Mike a coffee because I'm just a nice wife like that guys I did it I actually did it in three classes not four classes um, I got a personal record in the first class and the last class completely off the off off totally off in the middle one I'm so happy with that. Um, I might actually do another one, just, I'm like on such a high. I might just cool down um, to the last one and then I get over 30 miles so I can add on, add on my 30 
30 miles instead of 26.2, whatever it is. <laughs> but yeah, I did it. I'm sweaty, I'm tired, and I'm gonna go and bake some cookies after this. Just, just one more class. Guys, Mike's just hung the, all the washing out um, on the garden chairs to dry because um, it's a nice, it's actually not that nice today, it was supposed to be nicer but I just wanted to show you this. This is what happens when you're living in quarantine. Sports gear, gym 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 gear, rivers clothes. <laughs> Can you tell we've not been putting on proper clothes for the last few weeks? Mm. Guys, so the cookie mission is complete. I made these, these are like the rejects that are staying here, but basically I made my chocolate orange ones and then I also made um, my cashew cookie ones. It is my friend Lissy's birthday today, so I'm doing like a drive-by cookie stop, drop, drive-by cookie drop on her doorstep on my way to take my mum and dad supplies. As you guys know, my mum and dad, or if, if you haven't watched previous vlogs, you don't know, but um, my mum has a lung condition, so she's like officially on the, like, at high risk, um, register, not a sort of register, like, list of people. Anyway, so they don't go out at all and get food. I kind of take stuff to them, so, and they get deliveries as well. Um, so I'm gonna take some supplies over to my mum, do the cookie drop, and come back and enjoy the glorious sunshine. River is already eating a cookie. She couldn't resist. I might have one as well. So I am back from running the food run, as I like to call it. I'm now cooking River some dinner. She's actually still napping. Um, should really probably go and wake her up soon, otherwise she won't go to bed until super late. We've got the Vampire Diary season one on. Throwback, major throwback to early YouTube days. I love this show so much. Um, and when I'm on my own, like Mike's out cycling. When he got, when I got back, he went out for a cycle. Um, probably got about 10 minutes before River wakes up and I thought, you know what, why not? Season one of the Vampire Diaries, I'm cooking Riv, some mange to, some penne, and there's a few baby sweet corn in there as well. And then she's also got a little bit of hot smoked salmon, which is left over in the fridge. Um, she'll probably end up having a cookie as well because they're like right there in front of her. Um, on the island, but yeah, that's Riv's dinner. So many people ask me about Riv's dinner now since I started posting it on Instagram, so there you go. So it is officially bath time in the DeForce household. Someone has been resisting the bath this evening and has managed to wangle a chocolate chip cookie before bath time, which I don't think is cohesive to her. I am not. <laughs> How could I say no? It was like right in front of her and she was like, Mummy, please. It's so delicious. Um, yeah, we've got a ready meal in the oven because both of us are exhausted and couldn't be bothered to cook. Um, I'll show you that when we eat it. And I can't show you River anymore because she's now in the complete nude. She's a naked baby. Are you going to get in the bath? Uh, what? Woo! She's a naked, naked lady. <laughs> This is bath time, bath time song. So this is our dinner this evening. It's actually um, an all plants rigatoni from the freezer. Um, it smells really good actually. We've never had this one before. I pre-ordered, pre-ordered? Not pre-ordered. I ordered a load of these when I went away to LA for Mike. Um, and this is the last one and they've been really good so far. Um, yeah, so when we're having a lazy day and want a ready meal, that is what we end up eating. So we're currently having a wild wild Saturday night in. Mike is working on his laptop. The dogs are here. Piglet is here too. She's just snuggled right in. She's being so cute today. You being a good girl today, beginning coming back when I call you and everything. Never happens. And we're watching Blast from the Past, Romeo and Juliet. I actually haven't watched this film as an adult. I think I've watched it, I think I probably last watched it in my late teens. Have you, watch, have you watched it as a grown up? I say grown I'm up, like I'm not really grown up, am I? Yeah, I don't think I've watched it's it since, class, since late up. teens. And I forgot how OTT it is um, in the best way. Um, so yeah, that's what we're watching tonight on the old telly box. And where's Trico? She must be in the uh, kitchen. kitchen Antisocial. Um, but yeah, snuggling with the dogs, 
We're eating our dinner, just gonna chill. We'll probably see you guys in the AM. Good morning guys. Welcome to our Sunday. I've got one very clingy little monster here this morning who will not <laughs> yes, who will not let me put her down to vlog. Oh the teddies. Oh, the teddies. Oh, the teddies. Where are they? Are they all upstairs? I oh, know, maybe in here? Are there teddy bears in there? No? Should mommy go and get you teddies? You stay with daddy. No. Daddy, don't get teddies? No, daddy, no. Well, how are the teddies going to get here? No. <laughs> Have we got enough teddy bears? That is now the question. <laughs> so, this morning, we're doing a Sunday morning cleaning session. We have been pretty good since, well I am, Mike's working on his laptop, um, since we've been in lockdown, we've actually been through a bout of breath because she had to lug little miss upstairs and then downstairs and teddies. She squats in early doors. Um, <laughs> weirdo. Um, we've actually been pretty good at cleaning like the first month and then this week it's just gone out the window, we haven't cleaned at all. So I'm going to clean the kitchen and the floors. It's really exciting, isn't it? It's what you signed up for, isn't it? We really right loved it. On the edge. I lockdown, mean, wild. Lockdown, lockdown is wild. Guys, I get so many questions about this since I mentioned it on my Instagram stories. This is my best friend, literally right now, no joke. Um, it cleans, um, like basically hoovers and mops the floor at the same time. Hell to the yeah. Um, I get a lot of questions about this. I will link it in the description box. Um, but yeah, life changing if you've got hard floors. Another cleaning favorite I was just using and I was so happy when I got recommended this, so I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. Um, if you have sinks that stain easily, like this is a ceramic sink, I've just cleaned it, so it is like sparkly, sparkly white, um, except for a bit of, a bit of uh, <laughs> porridge and a dead fly, lovely. Um, but this stuff literally gets rid of just like coffee stains, red wine stains, it's amazing for sinks. Um, it's like a weird, powder so you like puff it on and then scrub away and it literally takes off everything it's amazing you can also it says you can use it on like stainless steel copper chrome blah 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 all of these things um but i haven't used it. i pretty much only use it for the sink but it's amazing I'm just going to show you this if you're grossed out by dirt and grime look away this is what just came out of my hoover contraption what gross um why do I have dogs? Why? They're just so disgusting. Look at all this gross dirt and dog hair. Um, but apart from that, sparkly, clean kitchen. Makes me so happy. Doesn't it make such a difference to your mood when you have like a nice, clean, clear space? And I'm now making a mess of the kitchen again by making a use all the things that are about to go off in the fridge stir fry. River is really 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 grumpy as well which is great great sunday afternoon guys i'm literally running into the gym to do a live peloton class i was just filming my camera ran out of battery at exactly the wrong time and i nearly missed it i think i've missed like two minutes ah uh, missed two minutes guys two minutes i'm actually impressed with that literally my camera ran out of battery and i had to stop and charge it not cool. Here we go. <laughs> Two glasses down. I'm gonna get off now. I want to do another one, but I'm wary of overdoing it and then being super out of it tomorrow and I want to come back on tomorrow. So I'm gonna tap out and go and chill out in the sunshine whilst we've been asleep. I've got an hour, hopefully an hour until she wakes up and Mike is out on a cycle. So 
Just gonna go and chill in the sun. Love housework so much, guys. I thought, let's just do a bit more. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> so I've just cleaned the entire of the downstairs floor. It's 10 to six and River still hasn't woken up. Um, so I'm gonna go and wake her up, otherwise she'll be up until midnight with us. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling productive today. Energized and productive. Um, and slightly worried that my toddler's just slept from two till six. She's probably not gonna go to sleep. Um, she might, she's usually in a foul mood if I wake her up as well. Maybe I should get Mike to do it. <laughs> so we've just been playing outside and um, I was looking at my sister's Instagram and she was making homemade sushi. And I was like, hey Mike, do you fancy sushi tonight? Do I ever need to ask him? Of course oh. he does. Um, I actually had the stuff. Uh, in the cupboard from ages ago, a few months ago, when the my sister's kids love sushi and they were coming to stay. I was like, next time they come and stay, um, we can make sushi, and we never ended up doing it. So I have the stuff. I've kind of improvised um, with the fillings because obviously Mike and I are vegan. I've done um, some avocado for us, some uh, cucumber, and then River's got some tuna mayo. Um, we didn't have any fresh fish, we only had tuna, so that's gonna roll. And then I've made the rice as well. This is kind of like me improvising, trying to cool it down faster, because we're a bit hungry, and normally sushi rice takes 500 years to make. Also, and we've got goyoza, so I'm doing, I'm doing goyoza as well. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go down with River. She hasn't had sushi in a long time. She liked it once upon a time, but I mean, her tastes change daily at the moment. Also, I'm please... Not, not, not bothered, because like... The more for us. Um, also, quick side note, please don't criticise our sushi making, I'm aware it is less than perfect, I'm not a professional, but, oh, but let's do it, it's, it's, sushi. I'm sorry Mike, it's not oh. gonna be, it's not gonna be Nobu level, it's not, I haven't done this in years. Here's River's little sushi set. Not too bad, considering I haven't made it in about 10 years. Bugsy Boo! Someone is watching Peppa Pig and is very, very excited. I told her we were making sushi. She's like, wow, sushi! Can I have some? I need the... I need the... I need the... Uh, uh, the chopsticks? Chopsticks. The chopsticks, that's what she needs. Ta-da! <laughs> we had some of these left over from a takeaway once upon a time. You're gonna use these? What do you think? Delicious. Yes, that's my girl. <laughs> Tasty? Not really, not <laughs> Well guys, I can't tell you how excited I am right now. So oh yeah, Goyoza. I mean, it looks a bit of a dog's dinner, but I've just tasted one and it tastes so good. River is the biggest fan I've ever seen. Glass of... MDF? Uh, rosé? Rosé supposed to go with this, or... Uh... <laughs> I am officially oh, I in a sushi coma and River is protesting. She doesn't want to go in the bath. I don't know if you can hear her to Mike. She's literally like behind my head. Um, in the bathroom, obviously. She doesn't want to go to the bath because she's saying that the bath is too hot. When in reality, is it is it completely cold, Mike? No, it's 35. Okay, it's not too bad. But I we don't point out that we I don't have frozen for the fact that she now says waru. Waru. <laughs> The Waru's. She's turned American and she's not even two um, and a half. Yeah, so it's that actually a cold bath. Meat, River? Are you a doggy now? She's naked baby. I've eaten so much sushi, oh, I can't talk? move. I'm just stuck here all night. I know it sounds dark. You need a cuddle? I feel like I could have eaten another roll. You could have eaten another roll. You're a machine, Mike, a machine. Do you know what the good news is? What's that? There's bread in the cupboards for toast. Oh my God, you're crazy. I don't know where you put it. Look at him, literally, he's like a skinny mini. He's, but I'm, 
Like how, you where do you put it? Mileage. I'm having to angle it up not to show your body, River. I need a cuddle. You need a cuddle. Oh my god, emergency a, cuddle required. Guys, I totally fell asleep. Of course I did. I fell asleep last night before saying goodbye to you all. Um, I actually fell asleep right after River went to bed. She went to bed quite late, like nine, because she woke up from my nap so late, and I was just comatose from the sushi feast. It was so good. Um, although I do fear now Mike's going to be putting the pressure on to cook sushi every day. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely week and I will see you again for weekend seven. Doesn't look like it's stopping anytime soon, does it? So um, yeah, I'll see you next weekend.